traffic together. Michelle joining us. And even though we got all that rain, Michelle, we're still way below the uh, normal amount of rain that we've gotten in past years, correct? Yeah, I'm uh, going to talk about some of those statistics. We actually broke the record again yesterday for daily rainfall at TF Green Airport. Let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at some of the rainfall totals. And this was a combination again of what fell both Sunday and on Monday when socket at about three and three quarters inches of rain. Providence about three and a half inches. Coventry over three. We were up over three inches in Hope Valley. And about two and three quarters inches of rainfall for both North Kingstown and in Narragansett. And the weather record that we broke yesterday, again, for daily rainfall at TF Green Airport, the old record was uh, about uh, 1.44 inches from 2006. We topped that at 1.6 inches during the day yesterday, and that'll go down in the record books. But even with that, we're still almost uh, six inches below normal for rainfall from January 1st until today. So it's still... Uh, consider dry out there, though what fell yesterday certainly helps. We've had a few isolated showers overnight. We're back to dry conditions, though, as the radar sweeps along Narragansett Bay and the coastline, not finding any problems. A mixture of clouds and sunshine in the forecast for today. And the temperatures are cooler than yesterday. We're up around 60 yesterday morning with that muggy air. This morning, about 45 Smithfield, 46 in Providence. The temperatures in New Bedford at 48 and about 50 this morning for Hyannis. Winds gusting out of the southwest today, about 20 to 25 miles per hour right now. And it wouldn't be out of the question to see some gusts as high as 30, even 35 miles per hour. The reason for the strong winds, this storm system still spinning to our north and west. You can see that most of the steadier and heavier rain is lifted up into Maine right now, and there's still some snow falling over parts of New York and Pennsylvania. We're going to see that continued windy um, conditions out of the southwest as this low drifts up into Canada for today. So it's still going to have a little bit of a hold on our weather, giving us a mixture of clouds, sunshine, and those gusty winds. Notice we're on the mild side of things. Temperatures in the 40s to around 50 here in eastern New England, while the temperatures are at a chilly 35 to 40 degrees over much of New York and Pennsylvania. We're going to get back to seasonable highs today. I have us in the upper 50s to around 60. 58 for Newport, 60 Wickford, 60 in Coventry, brisk, dry, and a partly to mostly sunny afternoon. About 60 for Burrowville. Temperatures in Situate coming in at about 61 and 61 in Johnston, while southeastern Massachusetts, your highs coming in at about 59 for Fall River, close to 60 New Bedford. We're looking at a small craft advisory on the bay again today with those waves two to four feet. The high tide 1030 this morning and a low tide just about a quarter to four this afternoon. Seven day future cast. So we're looking at some gusty conditions again today. Tomorrow at about 60 degrees, a mix of clouds and sunshine. Thursday, looking at a chance for some showers by afternoon. I have this dry for Friday and Saturday. I still have the showers in for Sunday, although I'd say it's a question mark right now because uh, some of our computer models have most of that uh, precipitation offshore. So there's still a chance that we may end up with a completely dry weekend. We'll keep you updated on that. You can get the latest on your future cast.